Dustin Lowe, and I'm here at ALT's Roleplay, and I'm super excited to be here to tell you about my life at ALT. Malersh, Enchanted April. He's a little stuffy at first, but he's really warm at heart. It took him realizing that his wife was special to him for the warmth to come out. I have a relationship with people that tend to be more loving and caring than to be stoic and brooding. And this show is especially fun because it was with Jonathan Mobley, Carrie Huckabay, Peggy Lovett, who I've never done a show with before, and she was a hoot. Lene Jacobs, they're best friends, get them together. It's crazy fun. Um, Chris Zelda and I formed a really special bond um, with and um, Lava. And so uh, it was just fun all the way around. Christopher Wren, The Mousetrap. This was a fun show because it was really my first um, play at ALT. Bobby Schaefer directed this. Um, such an all-star cast. Jenny Morgan, Amy Gilliland, who just adore. Michael Newman, Michael Westmoreland, and Jeffrey Pickens. Just fun show, Who Done It? Didn't know which one of us was guilty or not. My mom was like, came through the line, and, they, and my dad, and they were like, great job, son. And my mom was just like, and then after the fact, they were just, they could not stop talking about it. Just how much fun the show was, how proud they were that I was able to pull it off. So, yes, Christopher Wren, Mousetrap. Chantal, La Cage aux Faux. First time I did a show in drag. Um, this was my drag season. I was Chantal, I was the redhead, looked like I Love Lucy, sang opera, black sequin gowns, the, the pink bikini, the silver garland Christmas hair. In the end, I had this big giant pink bow on my rear end, on this velvet gown. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, La Cage aux Faux. The 39 steps. Up until that, this show, this was the hardest show I'd ever done. Most challenging, most rewarding. A big shout out to Alan Shankles for seeing my potential in this show because it's everything I loved. It was Hitchcock, it was an homage to Jimmy Stewart, um, Cary Grant, um, just those Hitchcock themes and uh, getting to do it with my wonderful stage wife, Carrie Huckabay, who is the best stage partner any actor can have. Michael Newman and Travis Johnson as the clowns, they brought it every night. And I was the only straight actor in the show because the other three played three to multiple characters. And so I was the straight man throughout the whole show. Out of 104 pages of script, I was on speaking 98 pages of dialogue. So I would do it again for just the experience of, of it because it means so much to do this show. Lord Evelyn Oakley, Anything Goes. I'm proud of this role because uh, I got to do it with my college best friend, Kristen Lloyd, um, who pushed me to be the best that I could be in this role. It's right up my alley, the music, I love the Great American Songbook, so it was fun to push the envelope a little bit and be this just really conservative um, Brit and then he just pops out of his shell with the gypsy and me. Getting to do that with Sean and Alan um, and Kristen just brought out another side of me that I didn't know that I had. So, world I'm most proud of, Lord Evelyn Oakley, anything goes. Dr. Baloo, you're in town. 
This show was an all-star cast for me. Um, Jason Crispin, Josh Bates, um, Joshua Gibson, Annika Spaulding, um, Jenny Morgan, yet again, um, Amy, Amy Spears, who's near and dear. Um, just a fun, fun show. Rebecca Smithy, Amber Burton, Logison. I mean, so many people involved in this show. We had such a blast in the ensemble doing all of the dancing and making fun of theater. If you're a true musical theater fan, this is the show for you because it is a blast. I would do it again and again and again. Most fun, you're in town. William Barfay, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. This was challenging because Jennifer Aikens had to tell me over and over again, Justin, don't sing it pretty. Don't sing pretty. Because he talked like this. So I had to sing Magic Foot, and that's just not me. That was why it was the most challenging, was, try was having to be in character and sing in a character voice, which I hadn't done before. And of course, the Magic Foot. Smudge, Plaid Tidings. I knew I wanted this show the minute the season was announced. Um, didn't know which character, I just wanted to be a part of it. It's my favorite holiday. I love this genre that this show is, and we get to sing a lot of the standards and the Christmas standards, especially in this show. Um, we do an homage to Perry Como, who my grandmother was very fond of. Rosemary Clooney, who I love because of my Christmas with Bing Crosby. And then, of course, um, the ending of the show, we have a medley of songs, and they're kind of an homage to Andy Williams and the Williams Brothers, which I grew up to listening to with my parents at Christmas time. So, smudge, fly tidings. The Herald, Cinderella. Funny story with this show. I was the Herald who follows the prince around. I tend to follow princes around in shows. We were doing the opening of the show. I had the first song in the show and I sing all of the names of the royal family. So I sing the prince and then I have to sing the queen and then I have to sing the king. Well, for whatever reason, the pit that day decided to have funny dress in the pit. And I happened to look down to check in, which was a mistake because Maggie Scales Peacock was in a big clown wig and big clown nose and big clown sunglasses and it was in the transition to verses. Verses had to be specific because certain people had to sing certain things. So I jumped to the king instead of singing the queen the second time around because it would be the prince and then the queen and then the king. Well I switched the king and the queen. It comes to the part where I say their last name and it's repeated by a child actor in the show. Well, this child actor happened to be Harrison Stringer and that boy saved my bacon because everybody on stage was looking up at me with these big grins on their faces going, you just messed up. How are you gonna fix this? And Harrison covered my bacon because the king's final name was Sydney and the queen's was Maisie. And so he was like, my Sydney is giving a ball, the Herald Cinderella. Max Sam, the Little Miss Firecracker Contest. Um, one, I don't have syphilis. Two, I don't spread STDs. Three, I don't have TB. Four, I'm not an alcoholic, and I don't cough up blood, so. Max Sam from the Little Miss Firecracker Contest. Come see ALT's Plaid Tidings at the main stage now through December 17th. I play Smudge. I'm one of four guys in a group that comes back from heaven to do a repeat performance of a holiday show. So it's full of fun, standards you know, really tight four-part harmony, really gets you in the Christmas spirit, and you might get to see us do an appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show, Rosemary Clooney might pop in, as well as Perry Como, so it promises to bring you the joy you need for this holiday season. Mm -hmm.